Hi, I'm Sebin Yaakov. This presentation is entitled Current of Inductor, a Riddle on an Internet Tutorial. The tutorial that I'm referring to is on the inductor and here is the link and I'm going also to print the link at the page of this video that you are now watching. The tutorial deals with the behavior of a inductor when connected to a voltage source. Here is the switch, here is the inductor, and here are the waveform suggested by the tutorial and explained in the text. I have cut some of the parts of it just to get the essential explanation. So here it says the following. If we now close the switch at T equal to zero, this is this switch, current will flow through the circuit and slowly rise to its maximum value at a rate determined by the inductance of the inductor. Here it is. We close the switch. This is now the voltage and here's the current going up and this is determined by the Faraday's equation V equal to L di dt. This self-induced EMF across the inductor fights again the applied voltage until the current reaches its maximum value and a steady state condition is reached. The current which now flows through the coil is determined only by the DC or pure resistance of the coil. I guess this is the current. So it was going up linearly and then determined by the DC resistance. Likewise, if the switch S1 is open, that is this one, open, not conducting, the current flowing through the coil will start to fall, but the inductor will again fight against this change and try to keep the current flowing at its previous value by inducing a voltage in the other direction. The slope of the fall will be negative and related to the inductance of the coil as shown below. So here we see the current going down while during the up and down we are going to see these voltages which are sort of fighting the change. So the questions are how many errors can you spot in this tutorial assuming that the time constant L over R is smaller than T on that is t this is the T on and we assume in the first case that L over R the time constant is smaller than T on and then how many errors can you spot in this tutorial assuming that L over R is much larger than T on. I'll give my answers in a forthcoming video.